it's really complicated, but it's like, okay, one, zero, one, zero, one, 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 one. And that's gonna, I gotta look at that book. Hold on. Is there something here? Okay. Uh, I need Ray Twain's room. Ray Twain. Ray Twain. Lefty Lewis. Nope. I need my Ray boy. It's probably gonna be over here. I think it was over here. Ray, yes. Okay. I need to know what these numbers mean. So one zero is the number two. One zero one is the number five. And then one 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 is 15. So two, five, 15. Smart! There's a key to the reference room inside. Yes! Save! Wait, didn't I also need something else? John Keith. Franz Moore. Where's John Keith? Maybe over here? Nope. Where? Andrew? Right? John Keith. Oh, wait, yeah. John Keith. Oh, I know. This is the one where... Never mind. We already had access to that room. The key was in the room. That's right. Okay. So I need to go down to the reference room. Oh! The fuck? <laughs> what? That gave me a real heart attack. Ow. Oh. Hey, who was that? Who'd you be? What are you doing in this school, you shady punk? S shady punk? I'm just looking for someone. You shoved me out of the blue. Who are you? Give me a name or I'm calling the police on you. David Hoover. I'm looking for a guy who I think was here. I'm not a robber or anything. <laughs> you sure? As if a robber would say they were one. What, what do you want? A permit? Now you tell me who you are if you're going to ask me. I'm D. I graduated from this school, so I came to bring back some memories. D? That's your name? Not actually the oddest one I've heard, but... <clears throat> Sissy. It's a nickname, dummy. You think I tell someone, some shady guy, my real name? <sighs> what a little brat. But I guess you ain't stolen anything yet. I'm just wandering, wandering, so don't mind me. Smell ya. What the hell's his problem? Didn't even apologize. It pisses me off. Yeah, I'd be pissed too if I was randomly shoved down some stairs. Uh, let's save just in case. Alright, reference room. There's a key that was left behind. They say that people despise those who think similarly to them or who are in similar circumstances. But humans are curious in that they can hide an outward appearance of good... And out any outward appearance of goodwill or hatred. Though they are too faced deep down, they can make that idea seem unthinkable. You may despise someone much like you, but you may in your heart have a affection for them. The improbable, the improbable is not impossible. I never understood this philosophy stuff. Wouldn't you just dislike people you don't like? No, they have a point though. Self-loathing. <laughs> So I gotta look for a book. There's probably a faster way by remembering what the lady teach. Whatever the lady like teaches, but I'm just gonna go through this like this. Cause I'm a lazy son of a gun. Nope, it's none of these. A record of books checked in and out. Now it's about new arrivals and the like. Huh. 
George Wythe, 1726-1806, a signatory of the Declaration of Independence. He is sometimes called the father of American law for teaching the first classes in jurisprudence. It's attached to the wall, but the screw's a little loose. If I had the right tool, I could unscrew it. Well, David, guess what we have? Unscrew the screw holding the portrait. I don't know why we're doing this, but apparently you want this done. There's writing behind this. 1647. Is it a code or for something? Oh, it's probably for somebody's security box. Elevator for carrying books to the basement. There's no power, so it doesn't work. What's the code again? 1647. I just gotta figure out who it's for. Sixteen forty seven. Oh no, that's the tools. Did that one. Nope, I didn't find it. She said it was in the reference room, and I looked in all the books. she? Franz Moore. What does Franz Moore teach? There was like a note that said it all, right? Just trying to find the person that would have 1647 as their password, though. Oh, I went back downstairs. I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not. Oh gosh, I don't even know where I'm going anymore. Alright. Um, I'm gonna go... I gotta figure out what Franz Moore teaches. I'm gonna look for that specific book. Is it you? That does 1647? No. You won't even let me put in anything. Six digit pen. Not that. Sixteen forty seven. Yes. There's a key to the lecture hallway inside. Okay, making progress. Gonna save, cause I'm scared of this room. They gave me a key for a reason. David. Damn it! I'll think about it later. <laughs> Gotta run. The monster's in there. I'm not going in. Ah, items. Give me the key. This. Lock the room. Peace. Surely thou keep it in. Listen, David, if shoving it down a hole, burning it on fire, and then stabbing it multiple times hasn't worked, what makes you think locking it in a room will do it? Ugh. But this is so bizarre. I mean, back at the hotel, I... And the hotel's hours away, isn't it? Could it really be following me? Why? How? Uh, this is driving me nuts! Or am I hallucinating this thing? The 
And again, it did attack Sissy, so it can't be in my imagination. It exists. Monster that it is. D. That monster's here. I have to warn D. Tell him he's gotta get out of here. Um, what do I have? I have a key to something. Lecture hallway key. Yo, D, you anywhere around here? D. Use the lecture hallway key. Hello. Let's go in order from one to three. How are you in here? The door was locked. Friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you for coming today. Today is, for us, the best day of our lives. Because today, we leave the nest of our school and begin our climb to adulthood. Those who passed the bar exam, those who didn't, those becoming clerks or notaries or teachers, all of us will be graduating from this school, and we owe a great debt to it. Though even if they manage to graduate, some of us may need to put a little more time into their studies. <laughs> but these graduates have one thing in common. They're filled with hope for the future. They're ready to challenge what lies ahead. A toast to our dreams, to our yet unsure futures, and may we have God's grace. D, how did you get into this lecture room? Wasn't the hallway locked? Eh? You forget I'm a graduate here? I know all the secret ways, dummy. Huh. Well. What were you listening to? A tape? Yeah, from my graduation day. Man, has it really been three years? I was getting nostalgic for the place. And even abandoned. It really hasn't changed. It's just like it was when I was taking classes. Studying was wearing me out, so I came here for a breather. It's nice to have places full of memories like this. You graduated, but you're still studying? Hey, lay off it! Yeah, I couldn't pass the bar exam, so I'm cramming at home now. Oh, Cutie. Next up's gonna be my sixth attempt. Oh well. There were lots of great guys in my class. Most of them passed it in one shot. Being a lawyer's been my dream since I was a kid. So I was so happy when I got accepted here. Felt I was one step closer to making it come true. The work was rough, and I just barely managed to graduate. I think it's my kind, helpful professors that did it. I'll pass next time for sure. I mean, it's my sixth time. Anymore, and I'll be way behind my classmates. Well, it's good to be motivated, but it's dangerous here. You should get out of here soon. Huh? Dangerous? What? It's sort of hard to explain. There's kind of a monster here. It'll attack you if it finds you. Thought you were just some weird old guy wandering in abandoned school, but... Damn, you really are nuts, huh? Seriously? A monster? Even little girls don't believe that stuff being a total doofus. Do you enjoy making fun of people? I don't think I'm much older than... Ahem. Don't try and debate with me, alright? I'm a talented soon-to-be lawyer. You'd be no match for me. <sighs> do what you want, but don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, I will do that, thanks. Like I need a shady punk like you telling me what to do around my alma mater. Hey, Paul. I... I got in. What? Really? You got in? To flight school? Ah, That's crazy, David! I can't even do a handstand! You can really do it if you try, man! <laughs> Thanks. But it doesn't make me a pilot yet. Still have to pass the exam. Man! Dude! You totally will be! And make sure to give me a ride. I love to fly above a city sometime. 
Paul, I'm not going to fly passenger planes. It's not that kind of school. Don't sweat the details. I'm glad for you. You did good. Hey, I'll take you to lunch today. Back then, I wasn't really thinking. I was just going wherever I wanted. Maybe D is like that too. Posted up. The school newspaper is posted up. Oh! Michelle, I needed this. Birthday. 619. Ha ha! Got it. Oh shoot, I gotta stop playing soon though. Dang it. Let me go do the passcode thing real quick. Who was it that shared the same birthday? Was it Lefty? at you. No. It's the reference room. Computer room. Parlor. I was double checking because I can't remember if that's where I locked up the monster or if it was another room. I think it was Ray Twain. No, he had the numbers. Was it you? No, you left your key written somewhere. Was it you? I think it was you. Shoot, is it? Oh, maybe it's like 0619? Yes! It's key to the lecture rooms inside. Wonderful. Oh, I want to keep playing, but I got to go work. Uh, go back to lecture rooms. I didn't know one of them was locked, but I guess they were. So it's not probably this one? Yeah, okay, so this one was locked. Hello! Shiny thing. Notice about a seminar. 921 in the auditorium. Crime among the impoverished and its prevention. Ivan Albelitsev's criminal behavior, a psychology approach, will be referenced, so be sure to read it before coming. Franz Moore, professor of criminology. Found a notebook scrap. I knew there was something I lacked, but I didn't want to admit it. My ambitious youth youthfulness wouldn't let me. I wanted someone to say it. I wanted to be woken up, to be told I'm a have-not. Something you lacked. I have not. It's true. There are haves and have nots. People whose dreams can come true and... Ugh. Again. Sometimes my head just starts hurting bad. Final. Oh no! Finally, it... Yeah! D damn monster! Why are you chasing me? Ah. Oh, that's it. End of the game. Oh no? Maybe? What's up? I guess I didn't die. So you normally kill me unless you until, until you don't want to. Yeah, I'm confused too, David. I'm I'm alive. The monster's gone. Thought it would kill me, but it left. Damn it! I wish it would have killed me. Ugh, my neck hurts. I feel so sluggish. I haven't really slept since yesterday. I should try to rest somewhere. Probably the infirmary, right? Probably. Ooh, yeah, look at my health. My health's low. Okay. This seems like a good place to end the stream today, though. I really I don't want to end the game, but I have to.
I have to work like a responsible adult.